Updates on the Israel-Hamas war, as fighting rages, 20,000 people have died in Gaza. This page is no longer active. Please visit our new page, located here, to follow along with our live coverage of the Israel-Gaza war. Watch our bottom line program, which explores the implications of the war on Israeli security, for additional background on the conflict here. See this article for additional information on Yemeni's perceptions of a potential, wider escalation in the area. Since the beginning of the conflict, Israel has said that airstrikes will continue throughout Gaza, including in the southernmost city of Rafa. As of today, the number of people killed in the enclave has surpassed 20,000. The UN Human Rights Office has said it received disturbing information accusing Israeli forces of summarily executing at least 11 unarmed Palestinian men in Gaza City. Human Rights Watch has said most people in Gaza are displaced and susceptible to harm, as the WHO chief warns of a lethal mix of disease and hunger. A vote on a UNSC draft resolution that seeks to up aid deliveries to Gaza has again been delayed as parties seek U.S. support to avoid a veto. U.S. President Joe Biden has said he did not expect an imminent breakthrough as representatives of Israel, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad were in Egypt for the latest round of indirect captive release talks, Qassam Brigade shows off weapons workshop and video. Hamas's armed wing has released a video of its weapons manufacturing capabilities. It shows the Qassam fighters operating machinery to make rifles, assembling ammunition and testing the weapons. A message to Israel released with the video says, we will continue killing your soldiers by our locally manufactured snipers. Israel says it struck more positions in southern Lebanon, Syria. Israel's military has said its warplanes have struck another Hezbollah position in southern Lebanon. That came after Hezbollah today said it had targeted Israeli positions near Beit Hillel and Shtula. Israel's military also said it fired at fighters near a perimeter fence in the area of Mechula. In another incident, Israel said it returned fire after four launches from Syria were detected in the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights area.